Hello and welcome to the 30th video lecture of quantitative techniques semester 3 module number 2. In today's video lecture we are going to start with where we had left off in our 29th video lecture that is simple problems on probability. In our previous problems uh, we had started about uh, problems with cards and that is where, where we will start today. So let us begin. So our problem number 10 goes like this. A bag contains 3 red balls two green balls and five white balls okay a bag contains three red balls two green balls and five white balls so there are total of 10 balls in a bag three of them are red two are green and five are white in color so one ball is picked or selected at random what is, what is the probability that the ball that is selected is a red a red ball a white ball and the C1 says a green ball or a red ball so let us solve this step by step so total number of balls we know that there are 10 balls out of which we are selecting one ball remember this selection of one ball is important because when it becomes more than two balls there are uh, more than one ball that is two balls three balls the uh, type of problem or the way of solution is little different way of counting we can say is little different whenever it comes only one card is drawn one ball is selected one coin is tossed the problem is quite easy uh, we do not need to uh, go for much uh, calculations but uh, when the number of balls being selected at a time increases it becomes little complicated which will take those problems also later but for the time being it is a simple problem where only one ball is picked so the problem uh, solution goes like this uh, experiment what is the experiment that we are conducting the experiment that we are conducting is picking or selection of a ball of a ball that is one ball so n of s is equals to 10 no need to write this this is for your explanation only there are three red balls two green balls five white balls total we have 10 balls so n of s is equals to 10 out of these 10 that is your sample space actually is like this r r r g g w w w w w so five white balls two green balls and five white balls two green balls and three red balls this is your sample space so total directly you can write here if you want n of s is equals to 10 because there are 10 balls out of which you are going to select any one ball okay the first event says that it is a red ball so how many red balls you have in that the answer is n of a is equals to Three, three red balls you have just if I write the sample space once again for your reference red 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 green green white 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 so total items in the sample space were 10 so n of s was equal to 10 uh, to, uh, now the event a says that it is a red ball so n of a will be equal to three because we have three red balls okay so three red balls so n of a equal to three we have so n of a equal to n of s uh, sorry uh, p, p of a is equal to n of a upon n of s so n of a is nothing but three divided by ten right so which is equal to point three so now let us take the second event a white ball now suppose if the selected item is a white ball so how many white balls were there we have five white balls okay how many white balls are there we have five white balls now probability of b is equals to n of b upon n of s which is equals to 5 upon 10 which is equals to 0 0.5 so this was also quite straightforward and you know uh, 
and this because it was similar to the previous subsection now c event c will take green balls how many green balls to you uh, sorry uh, a green ball and a red ball suppose you are picking up uh, you're put, uh, putting your hand and uh, in the bag and picking up two balls one ball is green and the other ball is red in color now this is the case so total how many items will be there in your set c totally two green balls and three red balls so totally five balls are there so total five balls will be five available for selection so probability of c is equals to n of c or upon n of s which is equals to n of c is equal to 5 5 upon 10 which is equals to 0 0.5 so this is about uh, the uh, selection of balls okay so these uh, type of balls problems have so far not been asked in examination but this may come because these are quite easier the next problem that we are taking are where two balls are selected at a time uh, I would say that those people who are looking to score 80 out of 80 or somewhere very high marks in quantitative techniques only concentrate on the next problem those people who are looking to pass or uh, somewhere close to 60 marks or something 55 60 marks out of 80 they can leave the next problem because this is little confusing you should know your primary and high school mathematics that is permutations and combinations for this so let us begin 11th problem you can look and copy this in your pair book but those people who are looking to score only need to study this problem Now the problem is like this, the same problem I have taken, a bag contains 3 red balls, 2 green balls, 5 white balls, total 10 balls, so 2, two balls are selected, instead of 1 we are selecting 2 balls are selected at a time at random, what is the probability that both the balls are green, one is red and the other is white, one is green and the other is red, so 2 balls are taken at a time, At uh, whenever 2, 3 balls are taken, the counting technique changes, experiment remains the same, only thing is two balls are drawn selected or drawn from the bag okay out of the bag now n of s is equals to how can you draw two balls out of 10 see you will draw two balls out of 10 balls so number of ways of selecting two balls out of 10 balls is given by something known as nc2 i hope you know this uh, nc2 whenever you have n balls n items and you are gonna select uh, r items at a time then it is given as number of possible ways of doing that is ncr hmm? total number of items available for selection and number of items you are taking at a time fine so this is known as combination technique now in the total number of items available for selection were 10 and how many items you are taking at a time 2 at a time so 10 c2 it becomes so how is this calculated so 10 c2 is written as you start with this number whatever is there at the top multiply it by one number less so suppose if you start with 10 okay one number less 9 now one number less 8 one number less 7 you have to go on for how many digits should be there these many digits should be there in this case we have 2 at the bottom ok so that means only 2 numbers you have to take 10 into 9 suppose if it was 3 instead of 2 we had 3 then you could have gone for 10 into 9 into 8 suppose if it was 4 4 at the bottom the 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 would have come and so on fine so now you know that the numerator is 10 into 9 divided by what is the denominator denominator will start with the bottom number see numerator started with the top number denominator will start with the 
bottom number bottom number is 2 and it will go 2 into 1 why 2 into 1 is whatever number it is you have to multiply by one number less one number less uh, up till 1 suppose if the bottom number was say if the bottom number was 5 then you could uh, your denominator could have been 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 if the bottom number was 7 then it would be 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 if the bottom number was 5 sorry 4 uh, 3 then it would have been 3 into 2 into 1 so whatever bottom number is there in this case the bottom number is 2 so it will start with 2 and it will go up till 1 2 into 1 so this is how you have to do the Boyer denominator i hope you know the now the calculation about combination if you have any difficulty you can call me i'll send you a video on how to uh, find out permutations and combinations for this case you have to use combination only okay so 10 into 9 upon 2 into 1 which is equals to if you calculate using your calculators it comes up to 45 so n of s is equals to 45 now let us go to event a hmm? we'll take only event a for today and we'll stop okay event a what is event a event a both the balls are green in color okay both the balls are green in color that means see both the balls can be red in color both the balls can be green in color both the balls can be white in color one ball can be red one ball can be white one uh, one instance the other instance is one red other green the other instance is one green other red and there are a lot of other combinations possible so what happens is see here uh, we have how many red balls are possible see they are saying that both the balls here both the balls are green in color so if both the balls are green in color that means how many white balls are you drawing how many green balls are you drawing or how many red balls are you drawing three red balls are there so out of three available for selection how many red balls are you drawing zero because both the balls are green how many green balls are there two so two how many are you drawing at a time two how many white balls are there five how many are you drawing zero that means both the balls are green in color zero white balls zero red balls fine okay now uh, whenever uh, see here what is the meaning of this is three red multiplication means and sorry what is the meaning of this is zero red balls and at the same time two green balls and at the same time uh, zero white balls okay that is the meaning of this so if you multiply this because and is there you have to multiply this if you multiply and solve this you will get 3c0 uh, I had given you some standard values during the formula in the first class of this second module. You can go through those formulas if you have written this in your fair book. NC0 is always equal to 1. So, 1. I cannot. Can I shift it here? No, shifting is not possible. So, I have to cancel this. Just look at this. Uh, N, uh, 3C0 is 1 multiplied by 2c2 start with 2 go up till 1 and only 2 digits you should have so 2 into 1 divided by start with 2 in the denominator because the bottom number is 2 here so you have 2 into 1 multiplied by 5c0 is always equal to 1 so answer is equal to 1 so both the numbers are green in color answer is 1 uh, somehow I have forgotten to write it okay 1 so n of a is 1 now i'll just write it on overwrite this just see so probability of a is equals to n of a upon n of s which is equals to what is n of a i've got one what is n of s 45 okay 
n of a is 1 n of s is 45 so it is 1 upon 45 so this is your answer 1 upon 45 you can use the calculator and write it in decimal format also okay so this is uh, will if you have any difficulty about uh, any of these problems you can contact me i shall complete the 11th problem in the next video lecture okay